Welcome back to another tutorial video with Emma Mulato, your mathematics tutor at TVET. Please note that the material used in this video can be found in the RISE TVET handbook by Academic Solutions. While today's topic we will focus on um, sets. Um, in this video i will be doing the introduction on laws of set, sets as well as the de their definitions and then we will be doing the examples in the next video what you need to know about uh, sets is the the laws their laws and as well as the definitions uh uh, of sets and also try to analyze and understand how and where to apply them so in this case as you can see on the screen we have uh, laws and their examples uh, on the side number one we have law uh, we have uh, the nth root of a multiplied by nth root of b is equals to the nth root of a and a multiplied by b meaning the the since well you see we have the same uh the same root we multiply the whatever that is, that is inside the root that's why we ended up having the nth root of a multiplied by b if we move this side for an example we have the the, the cube root of 5 multiplied by the cube root of 2 which means we multiplied we have the same uh, the root multiplied by multiply what's inside the root which, which is 10 the second uh, law says the nth root of a divided by the nth root of b is equals to the nth root of a over b we, we have same root of which is n nth root and then we divided what's inside the 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 the, the roots that's why we ended up having this so in this case we have uh the fifth root of 64 divided by the fifth root of two so is equals to the fifth root of 64 divided by two i hope you all understand and then the third law says the mth root of the nth root of a is equals to m and the the m n root of a so meaning uh in this case we multiplied our roots which is m multiplied by n that's why we ended up having m n the m nth root of a in this case if we have we check on the example we have the square root of the square root of the cube root of seven so we have two multiply by three to the, to be, uh, the cube root of two multiply by three oh my gosh i'm missing this up i'm sorry the two t the root of two times three ne? which is equals to six the sixth root of seven i hope it does make sense and then the last law that we have it says the mth root of a all over n is equals to the mth root of n so meaning the n it it affected the the well, what's inside the brackets so that's why we have the mth root of a to the exponent n so if you check the example it says the cube root of 8 uh, all to the exponent 2 is equals to the cube root of 8 to the exponent 2 which is 64 ne? which is the cube root of 64 it gave it gave us 4 and then we have the definitions for in in brackets for n and a natural number where n is less or equal to it's greater or equal to 2 
ne? so we have three definitions as you can see for yourself we have number one number two and number three number one it says that um a to the exponent n one over n it's equals to the nth root of a number two we have a to the exponent negative one over n which is equals to the nth root of a to the exponent negative one number three we have a to the exponent m over n which is equals to the nth root of a to the exponent m so i hope you did uh, find this helpful and when you do the examples in the next video you will be able to understand uh, these definitions as well as the laws of sets so um thank you for watching see you in the next video